When a corporation is formed, the number of shares legally authorized for issuance is stated in its charter. This is the maximum number of shares that an organization can issue and is referred to as authorized shares. As the corporation sells its stock, the stock is considered issued. Occasionally, corporations will reacquire stock after it has been issued, which is known as treasury stock. Outstanding stock is the total authorized stock that is issued and currently held by stockholders. In most cases, outstanding shares represent issued shares net to treasury stock. As an owner of a corporation's stock, the holder of a common share is entitled to 1. The right to vote on matters that affect the corporation. 2. The right to share in the distribution of earnings. 3. The right to the assets of the corporation in the event of a liquidation. These rights may vary depending on which class of stock the stockholder owns. There are two main classes of stock, common stock and preferred stock. Common stock is a class of stock where each share carries equal rights. Preferred stock is a class of stock that carries various rights common shareholders do not have, but it also has drawbacks. A corporation could also simply have one class of stock, in which case it is common stock. Common stock is the default stock class. Therefore, if a corporation only has one class of stock, it will be common stock. Capital stock is the total amount of a corporation's common stock and preferred stock combined. Preferred stockholders have some preferential rights. One such right is the right to dividends. Keep in mind that common shareholders do not have a legal right to dividends, whereas preferred shareholders do. It is also important to mention that the legal right to dividends is always contingent on the company having enough retained earnings. A company cannot pay dividends if there is no net income or retained earnings, despite the fact that preferred shareholders may have a dividend preference. Think of the dividend preference as a right of priority in receiving dividend payments over common shareholders. For preferred stock, dividend rights are stated as dollars per share or as percentage of par. For example, dividend rights may be shown as preferred $5 stock, $50 par, or preferred 7% stock, $50 par. The $5 and 7% represent the dividend amount to which preferred stockholders have a priority. The right to dividends accorded to preferred stock can take three forms. First, the current preference. The current preference is the right to receive a stated dividend amount and to receive that amount before common shareholders receive any dividend. Second, the cumulative preference. The cumulative preference gives the preferred stockholder the right to receive dividends that were not declared or paid in prior years. Suppose the company experienced losses for four years and therefore preferred stockholders did not receive their promised dividends. In year five, when the company is back to being profitable, holders of cumulative preferred stock are entitled to five years worth of stated dividends before common shareholders can receive any dividend. Third, the participating preference. The participating preference allows holders of participating preferred stock to receive a certain portion of company's earnings on top of the stated preferred dividend amount. Suppose that company ABC has 20,000 shares of cumulative 3% $100 par preferred stock and 50,000 shares of $10 common stock outstanding. First, 3% $100 par means that each holder of the preferred stock is entitled to $3 in dividends each year. Since there are 20,000 such shares, the company must pay $60,000 annually in dividends to preferred shareholders before any dividend can be paid to common shareholders. Assume that the company paid dividends totaling $40,000 in year one, $70,000 in year two, and $100,000 in year three. In year one, preferred shareholders received $20,000 less than what they were entitled to. 
In year two, $10,000 of this $20,000 shortage was made up. The final $10,000 shortage is made up in year three. Common shareholders will not receive any dividends until year three, when a total of $180,000, $60,000 times three, has been paid out to prefer shareholders.